Hey everyone, it's been a while since I put something on YouTube. Um, first of all, I'm doing this in English, but I'm German, so I'm sorry if I made it, making any mistakes in the language. But I just wanted uh, other people than uh, just the German ones to be able to watch my video and understand it. Well, actually, I've been asked a lot um, if I could just tell you how am I doing it, how am I drawing, what's the method I'm using, what kind of... If, if I draw with a mouse or with a graphic tablet and I thought why don't you just do a video tutorial so you can show everyone what's your style, what your way of painting is um, and maybe inspire you to create your own way of doing things. So here I am. Um, first of all there are thousands of ways to paint, to do digital painting and I will never ever say that my way of painting is the best or one of the best it's just not true because you have to find your way um, so let's just get started um, um, I have I have a, um, a graphic tablet a Wacom Intuos 3 and um, I'm not painting with a mouse I really can't paint with a mouse I'm not able to do it and I really I really kind of I don't know. I am I'm freaking out if I see anyone painting with a mouse and, and there's incredible stuff done with it, but I just can't. So, my my graphic tablet and it's Photoshop CS4 I'm using. And how do I start? I'm starting with a raw sketch. I'm, I'm just um kind of s scribbling what I what's the idea of the painting I'm going to do? I'm I definitely am changing a lot while painting. I'm not. I do not have the final picture in my head. I just kind of get started and and do whatever comes to my mind. So I like. Oh, I want to. I want to do a female character. I want her to be a little twisted in her body, like looking to the to the left, but um, her her body is turning to the right. One hand could be reached out. So. Um, I, I don't even know what what she's what she's going to wear. That's everything of uh, everything like that. I'm going to develop while painting. I know that it's better if you if you really can do what you what you imagine, but actually it it never turns out like you wanted it to be. It's even better or, or not so good as you wanted it to be, but it's never going to be a one hundred percent as you wanted it. So I'm sketching. Um, Actually, you you see if if you if you're not if you're not a one hundred percent, um. If if you don't like, uh, how it's it's turning out, just just undo it, redo it as as often as you want. That's the good thing is about digital painting. You just don't have to stick with the stroke you just did. You can always undo it. So, just try something very weird, very strange, really difficult because that's what it's all about. You can try as as long as you want and you you never you never ever um kind of destroy your picture. There's no way. So um as you can see I'm 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 always undoing things and like oh maybe a little bit more to the left, to the right, a little a little stronger, a little thinner, I don't know. So if we're done sketching, um, my way of painting or my way of coloring, shading, everything like that is always from black and white to the color. Um, I know there are a lot of people who, who, who paint with color right from the start, but it's just not my way. I, can, I'm, I really like how, I, how I'm doing it. Um, yeah, it's just, it just fits my my way of painting a little bit better but do whatever you like it's just my way and I start really rough I kind of get a little gray background um, take uh, take a, a, a pen a, a brush I'm sorry I, I take a brush um, like like the one I'm, I'm using right now um, doing just just really rough shadows, really rough shadows, and always black and white at the same time. I'm like like doing a little contrast thing. 
and I'm never never ever brushing with full transparency I'm, I'm always like a 20% to 40% when I'm doing rough shadowing uh, so I can kind of get get those get those cool um, gradient stuff with doing one or two strokes or three or three to five strokes and it's going a little bit darker and my pen is always um, sensitive to to um, pushing or don't know how you <laughs> how you how you're saying it in English but um, if I push harder it's getting darker or thicker and if I if I do a light stroke it's just um, staying a little bit a little bit lighter so if I'm done with rough shadowing, I kind of, I'm I'm always like, um, making the the fi the first the the sketch a little transparent, and take a new layer, do a smaller brush, with, with more transparency like sixty to seventy percent, and I'm doing more detail, as you can see. And if I'm if I'm done with that, I'm doing it again, and I'm going really. Re I'm go I'm going to take a really really tiny brush, like three or five uh, point, um, with a high transparency, like eighty percent or ninety percent, and I'm always switching between black and white and doing the the hard edges and the hard light lighting points, especially with the hair. I'm doing a lot of um, curvy strokes always in the same direction to get this to get this smooth silky hair and if I'm done with all of that uh, and then come to the point of coloring I, I really like coloring pretty quick pretty fast so I'm just doing a new layer put soft light on it or smooth light I don't know how, what's the name in English and I'm painting with a really really big stroke like a 300 point um, with with the smooth edges and I'm picking my color and I'm I'm just painting li like how you can see really um, like uh, here's a little bit of light and there's a little bit of blue and just putting some colors in there they would never be there in real life but if you just mix them a little bit and and, and play with the uh, with the contrast and do a little um, little correction in the color management later on and the contrast it turns out pretty cool in a very very short uh, short amount of time so this painting I just did in uh, about one hour really one hour and the editing in 10 minutes and my speech is pretty improvised too so sorry about that but I just wanted to put something new on YouTube and maybe help you uh, being a little bit inspired of how you can how you can start off a painting how it is possible to start off a painting as a beginner or as someone who just wants to look for new stuff and then um, there are not a lot of tutorials about how you do uh, digital painting on YouTube um, where people really really explain how they how they do their way of painting so I just thought I might give it a try and I hope you guys like it. So, um, yes, maybe, maybe I will put on another one if you want me to show you anything special like hair or clothes or environment or eyes, mouth. Just you can tell me, and if I if I have some time, I'll probably do another one. So have a good time and hope you enjoy it. Bye.